to learn about how to find the area of the shaded part. Let's say we have a problem, like in the figure below, E, B, C, H, and G, F, H, D are squares. A, B, C, D is a rectangle. A, G, the ratio of A, G to G, D is 2 to 3. Find the area of the shaded part. Now, it says in the problem that the ratio of A, G to G, D is 2 to 3. So let's write that down. This is line AG and this is line GD. So AG to GD is 2 to 3. Now it shows in the diagram that line AG is 20 centimeters long. So 20 centimeters long. So this means that line GD is 30 centimeters long because 2 times 10 is 20. So 3 times 10 is equal to 30. So line GD is 30 centimeters long. Now, we need to find the area of the shaded portion. To find the area of the shaded portion, we need to first find the areas of the unshaded portions. So, let's do that. We see that all of the unshaded portions are triangles. So let's write down that the area of the triangle is equal to length times height divided by 2. So, the area of triangle Let's first find the area of triangle HCB. So the area of triangle HCB is equal to... Now, in the problem it states that EBCH and GFHD are squares. And we can see, so this means that this figure HCB B E is a square of side 50 centimeters. So this means that the length of this side is also 50 centimeters. So the area of triangle HCB is equal to fifty times fifty divided by two. So let's write that out and solve it. Fifty times 50 divided by 2, which is equal to 2 goes into 50 25 times. 25 times 50 is equal to 1,250 centimeters squared. Now let's find the area of triangle G, D, H. So the area of triangle G, D, H is equal to, now, it states in the problem that G, F, H, D is a square. So this figure G, D, H, F GFHD is a square of side 30 centimeters. So, this means that the area of triangle GHD is equal to 30 times 30 over 2, which is equal to 450 centimeters squared. So, now let's find the area of triangle AGB. So, we can, the area of triangle AGB is equal to now, we can see
see that the length is equal to 30 plus 50 centimeters, which is equal to 80 centimeters, times the height, which is 20 centimeters, which is equal to, divide by 2, which is equal to 800. Now, to find the area of the shaded portion, centimeters squared, so to find the area of the shaded portion, we need to first find the area of the rectangle A, B, C, D, and then subtract the total areas of the unshaded portions. So let's add up the areas of the unshaded portion. 1,250 plus 450 centimeters squared plus 800 centimeters squared is equal to 2,500 centimeters squared. Now, let's find the area of the rectangle A, B, C, D. Now, the area of the rectangle A, B, C, D is equal to, we can see that the length is equal to 30 plus 50 which is equal to 80 times the height or the width which is 20 plus 30 which is equal to 50. So 80 times 50 is equal to 4,000 centimeters squared. Now, let's subtract the total unshaded area from the area of the rectangle ABCD. So 4,000 centimeters squared minus 2,500 centimeters squared is equal to 1,000 500 centimeters squared. So let's write that down. The total shaded area is equal to 1,500 centimeters squared. Today we learned about how to find the area of the shaded part. Thank you for watching this video.